Hey everybody, Genesis Jones here with Total G Shockers and in this video we'll be talking about how to actually read a tide graph and moon age on your arrangement and how this could be useful to you in the real world. Also we're going back into the watch as I walk you through how to look up the tide level and moon age for a specific day. Let's get started. <laughs> So if you haven't already, go ahead and watch the first two videos in this video series. In part one, we talked about what tide levels and moon age are, why it's important, how you may find it useful, and we gave you a list of other G-Shock watches that have the tide level graph and moon age data. In part two, we walked through how to check the current tide level and moon age on your arrangement and how to avoid the error message set in the app to appear on your watch. So if you haven't already, go ahead and check those two videos out right now. All right, so now let's briefly go back through the concepts of tides. Now, if you recall in part one of the video series, we discussed the high tide, low tide, spring tide, and neap tide. And just to refresh your memory, the spring tide happens when you have a high tide at its highest point and a low tide at its lowest point. And it looks like this on your G-Shock rangeman. Now spring tides usually occur when you have a new or full moon and when the sun, moon, and earth are in alignment. Now the neap tide is the opposite of the spring tide. And that's when the high tide is at its lowest point and the low tide is at its highest point. So here's how that would look displayed on your watch. This happens during the moon's quarter phases where the sun and moon work at right angles, causing the bulges to cancel each other out. And the result is a smaller difference between high and low tides. And then there's also the half tide, which happens when both the high tide and the low tide reach the midpoint between their highest and lowest point. And this is what it would look like on your arrangement. Now when it comes to moon age, first off, this is telling you how many days old the moon is from when it was a new moon. The arrangement roughly calculates the current moon epoch starting with day zero of the lunar cycle. Now as the watch only uses integer values, this means that they don't use fractional numbers, when calculating the moon epoch, the margin of error for the moon age is plus or minus one day. So here's the table of the moon age and what it corresponds to. The range is from zero to 29.8 days. So in this example, the moon epoch is 16.3, which corresponds to 16.3 days old relative to the new moon. Now to look up the tide level and moon age for a specific day, this could be in the past or in the future, follow these steps. Step one, simply hold down the bottom right button for about one second. By doing this, this causes the year to become underlined. Step two, Rotate the rotary switch to change the year setting. Then press the bottom right button. This will then move the underlining to the month. Step three is to rotate the rotary switch to change the month setting. Then press the bottom right button. This will then move the underlining to the day. And then step four, rotate the rotary switch to change the day setting. Then press the rotary switch. This will display the tide and moon age information at 6 a.m. on the specified day. And again, by rotating that rotary switch, you're going to scroll through the display tide information for the specified day at one hour intervals. Now, how could the tide level graph and moon age data be useful to you in the real world? Well, for starters, the tide level graph and moon age data is useful for people who like to surf fish, kayak, and other beach or ocean related activities. So this feature probably won't be useful to you if you work in say an office or something. But if you're around the ocean or beach, this would be a great function to use. So hopefully that clears things up. All right, everyone, that's all for today. 
in the next video, we'll be going through the six steps to how to adjust the high tide times on your GPR B1000 Rangeman. Now by adjusting the high tide times, this could improve the accuracy of the displayed high tide time in accordance with information that's available either on the internet or in the newspaper. So if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you haven't already, go ahead and subscribe and make sure you hit that notification bell so that you can get notified when our new videos hit YouTube. So that's all for today. And as always, continue to rock your G-Shock nonstop. Deuces!